Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are fine and doing well. So I came across this research article on mouth rinses and its effect on COVID-19 infectivity and I thought of sharing it with you all. The result of this study are very interesting and it states that mouth rinse can decrease the infectivity of COVID-19 virus and so it could be a potential measure in limiting the spread of this virus. So there were four mouthwashes which were studied in this study as you can see here Listrin, Chlorhexidine Gluconate, Povidone Iodine which is known as Betadine and Colgate Paroxyl which consists of Hydrogen so All these four mouthwashes are active against viruses. They have antiviral effect but the point which we should all keep in mind and which was emphasized in this study was cytotoxic effect. Yes, Colgate Paroxyl and Povidone iodine, which is our betadine, they are having increased cytotoxic effects, which means that they are toxic to our normal cells. Now, how these mouth rinses can affect the spread of coronavirus is because of their quick action. As soon as it comes in contact with our oral mucosa or the oral environment, it starts acting on viruses. Here you can see the mechanism of action, okay? There are various mechanisms through which different mouthwashes can act on a virus. It can act through disruption of the cell membrane or it can affect the protein structure of it. Povidone iodine and Colgate peroxide should not be used because of its cytotoxic effects, okay? But chlorhexidine gluconate has shown a promising effect. Chlorhexidine gluconate in 0.2% concentration for 30 seconds is 99.9% .9 effective and we have various studies which are supporting this facts. Regarding chlorhexidine, one more thing you should keep in mind that it is not a good disinfectant, okay? When it is used to clean the surfaces, it does not have any activity on the coronavirus and it should not be used in children less than 6 years of ages even for oral mouth rinse. So as you can see, the viral load in the saliva decreased transiently for two hours after using the chlorhexidine mouthwash but it increased again at two to four hours post mouthwash. So now I think it is proven fact that chlorhexidine in 0.2 percentage and a 30 second of mouth rinse is effective for two hours but where we can apply it. I think those individuals who are home quarantined, they can use it to decrease the spread among their family members, okay? And especially if you are traveling, you have a flight of one hour or two hours, then you can pre-mouth rinse before your flight and then you can sit because flight is a closed chamber, okay? And there are increased chances of infectivity. So this way it can protect you. Another implication of which is few of the family members, they have to go out and they have to work, right? But after coming home, they cannot wear masks 24 hours. But yes, after coming home, they should do a mouth rinse with chlorhexidine. And as a dentist also, before starting our appointments, which is scheduled of one or two hours, so we can just rinse it before our treatment and then we can start the treatment. Now there are three most common side effects of using chlorhexidine and which is discoloration of the teeth, increased tartar formation and metallic like taste. But if you are using it in diluted concentration twice a day, I think it's a great way to limit the transmission of this virus in this testing times. Another important fact which I want to share with you all is it states that there are no such studies which are supporting that Listrin decreases the transmission or infectivity of coronavirus. I think these are the small steps which we should take on daily basis to take care of ourselves and our near and dear ones. I hope this information was helpful to you. Please spread it among our fraternity, among your friends and family, whoever needs to know this. 